So Christmas is less than a month away, and if you're looking for gift ideas for the artists in your life, whether they're friends or family members, this is the video for you. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Isabel, and on this channel, I usually document my journey to becoming a full-time artist, but I thought this week I would do something a little bit different and give you some suggestions for gifts for the artists in your life. First, art supplies. So the art supplies I'm going to talk about, I have used personally, most of them, and that's why I like to recommend them. And also, none of this is sponsored by anyone, by the way. So first, I wanted to recommend some acrylic gouache from Holbein. These are little tubes. I think they cost about $8 each, but you can buy some sets as well. But I think what's cool about those is, well, they have fun colors like neon colors. They even have metallic colors and um, they're really high quality uh, acrylic gouache and also um, you could just buy a few tubes individually as a stocking stuffer and yeah another acrylic paint i like is liquitex uh, it also comes in an array of colors and yeah very good quality a third type of acrylic paint is from turner i don't have any with me uh, but I've seen other artists use it and they had really good reviews for it. And I'll put a link below. Uh, everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the description below and none of it is sponsored. When it comes to watercolor, Windsor & Newton is probably the most famous. It's professional watercolor, but well, they have different grades, but uh, I would recommend either a little set like this I've used this a lot, as you can see, <laughs> experimenting. And then you can also find watercolor in tubes. So again, that's a great little stocking stuffer. Moving on to graphite pencils. So I've been using graphite a lot lately. And if the audience in your life love to use graphite, this is what I would recommend. I would recommend Faber-Castell's pencils. Um, I've used Staedtler a lot lately, which is also fine. But I think Faber-Castell's is a better quality. Um, I recently purchased uh, the Pit Graphite Matte, which is great for darker values because graphite in darker values like 6B or 12B, 10B, tend to be very shiny. Um, and that takes care of that problem. Uh, they found a way to mix wax. So I'm not sure what's in it, but uh, you can use darker values and not get that shine, which is great, especially if you're going to take pictures of your artwork. So you can get uh, the Faber-Castell pencils either as individual pencils or in sets of 6 or 12. They might have bigger sets as well. Uh, yeah. Since we're talking about pencils, um, another thing you could buy would be some erasers. So I really love the Tombow Mono Zero eraser, especially if you work on a drawing that you need to make some highlights for like or fine details. And then the other two erasers I use and I would highly recommend is the Faber-Castell Dust Free Eraser and then a kneaded eraser. These are great because you can shape them the way you need to create highlights and also they don't create any residue on your paper so you're less likely to smudge your drawing so those could be great additions again in a stocking store if you want to make a little bundle with some pencils the next gift idea is fine liner pens so there's a lot of different fine liners um, i bought this year this rotring set and really enjoyed it highly recommend it my favorite fine liner though is always been the Micron pen. It comes in a lot of different sizes, some even a brush pen. So very versatile. You can buy them by the unit or they also have some sets. I also really like the Uni pin fine liners. They also come in different sets. Um, just like the Micron pen those are archival ink pens so really great for the longevity of your artist um, drawings and another uh, fine liner that I was surprised I actually really liked is by Windsor and 
Newton. So again, they have different sizes. My next idea is uh, gifting colored pencils. So there's different levels of quantity of colored pencils. And I, so let's say the high end would be Cajon Dash colored pencils. This set costs about $150 if I remember correctly. It's kind of an investment. Uh, they are very high quality pencils. And yeah, so if you're looking for some professional colored pencils, those would be the one. Another high quality colored pencils I would recommend for a gift are the Polychromos by Faber Castells. Um, they come, you can buy them individually, which I like, or you can buy them in sets. And then a third pencil I would recommend would be by the Premier Prisma Color. It's not as high quality as the Polychromos, but it, they're also pretty nice. And if they, you're looking for a gift for an artist that's maybe just a beginner or you don't want to invest a ton of money, uh, those are pretty good pencils. So another gift idea I love is sketchbooks. Who doesn't need a sketchbook, right? So there's a ton of sketchbooks out there. I'm just gonna talk about a few that I've used and liked. Um, I have, so sketchbooks from handmade journal company. I found those on Amazon, but actually the quality paper is pretty good for like pen or pencils. And they come in all different kinds of sizes. I like the pocketbook, but you also have like a square size. And then they also have the classic eight by five. Now a classic is a moleskin sketchbook which is high quality paper, more on the pricey side. I think a sketchbook this size, which is eight by five, costs about $20 these days, maybe even 25 now. So it's a very nice paper and you can use it for uh, dry medium or wet medium. And then another sketchbook brand that I really like is Arts Creative Sketchbook which comes again in all different, in different sizes. So like this landscape or the one I've used the most recently. And it's a pretty good sketchbook for dry media. I've used it for graphite and colored pencils. I'm really happy with it. And yeah. Another gift idea you may or may not have thought about would be a subscription, whether it's a subscription to a magazine or a subscription to an online course or a series of online classes. When it comes to magazines, I really love this artist magazine. Um, this is actually, this was actually gifted by a friend of mine as a surprise and it's really fun to get it in my mailbox every month. So it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving. So I really love that. And this particular magazine features other artists and also their processes, so you can learn a lot from that. So uh, if you wanted to do a subscription for a magazine, I would highly recommend this one, but there's a lot of other art magazines. I'll put the link in the description for this magazine. And then, like I was saying, another idea would be to gift a subscription to a website which provides online learning. So there are several uh, online courses website out there. My favorite is domestica.org because their classes are well curated and produced and they have a wide variety of classes on drawing, illustration, um, design, even animation. And yeah, you can buy a gift card on there so you're able to gift a class to someone. There are other websites like Skillshare and such, but I know that Skillshare does not offer gift cards anymore, so that would be a bit more difficult to uh, gift a class, but that's also a suggestion. <laughs> so since we're on the subject of learning, I also have some books to recommend. So if the artist you're buying for is into pen drawings, this is a great little workbook to help you practice your pen and ink skills by Alfonso Dunn. If the artist in your life likes to draw birds or would like to learn how to draw birds, this is an excellent book that breaks down how to draw birds, all kinds of birds. Um, it's very detailed 
and yeah, very helpful. It's called The Law's Guide to Drawing Birds. Again, all the links will be in the description below. If the artist you're buying for is more interested in uh, botanicals, I would recommend this book called The Botanical Illustration Course, which uh, goes through different techniques to illustrate botanicals uh, using pencils and watercolor and colored pencils. Uh, a very good book for botanical artists. And then another book I really love for botanical artists, is, and it's a beautiful book. It's called Botany for the Artist, and it breaks down different techniques and also explains um, how to draw plants. And yeah, I really enjoy this book. And it's also beautiful to look at, so it makes a good coffee table book as well. And then there's two more books I wanted to uh, recommend, I think would be a great gift. And that's for any types of artists. First is Your Inner Critic is a Big Jerk by um, Danielle Krissa. And this is especially if, I think it's very common for artists to have a high critical voice or to have the voice of other people in our heads um, that could be stopping us from making art. So I think this is a great little book to uh, kind of change your perspective on that. And then last but not least, I wanted to recommend Make You Art No Matter What by Beth Pickens. This book talks about how to make art no matter what gets in your way in your life. I know life can be very overwhelming and you can feel like you never have enough time or, you know, we all have all sorts of obstacles. And this book gives you advice on how to overcome all those obstacles. So I think it's a really great gift. And yeah. Lastly, if you're looking for slightly bigger items and want to spend a little bit more money, there's a few things I would recommend. For instance, this is a desk light that I really love. It's by Outlight. So it folds and unfolds like this. So it's nice if you want to just store it away. And also the light, I think it's an LED light. Uh, it's pretty high quality. And yeah, so that's an idea. And then another idea would be a desk easel. I'll put a photo on the screen. Uh, I think these would be good, especially if someone has a small space as a studio. You can fold it away and you can use it for drawing or painting. So I would recommend that. And my last gift idea would be some storage for pens or pencils or even paint, like your paint tubes or whatnot. So there's many different ways you can store those items. Like for me, I bought this box, I think it was on Target actually, and this is where I store all my pens because you want to, them to be stored uh, horizontally. Um, so that's an idea. You could get some vintage boxes or vintage toolboxes uh, are a fun idea as well. So these are my gift ideas for artists for 2023. All the links will be in the description below. I also put together a Notion document with, again, the list of all the items I've mentioned and some bonus ideas which you can look at. And uh, none of this is sponsored. Uh, this is just ideas. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have any other ideas for artists that maybe we can share with each other. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching and spending time with me. And I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.